Nah, snakes, especially cobras, are considered to be very hypnotic creatures, and you don't have to imagine them much to figure out why. Take the way they move, for instance, going from side to side, just swaying back and forth, back and forth. It's such an easy rhythm, a gentle flow to follow. It almost has a cadence of sorts, so easy to listen to and watch. It just draws your focus in nicely, just going back and forth, back and forth. And if you want, you can try just gently swaying your head like that, moving it back and forth, back and forth, and as if you were watching a cobra, just watching its head move back and forth, back and forth. It's just so easy to follow it, just seeing it in your mind. Locked on to it, your head gently swaying with its own. And another reason that cobras are so good at hypnosis is that at the end of the day, hypnosis is just trying to get someone to relax and focus, and they would be very good at relaxing themselves. After all, they just spend the day laying in the sun, the warm sand beneath their scales, the gentle sun giving them warmth from above. It's just so nice and relaxing, a gentle warmth all around as you sway back and forth, back and forth. Just following it, watching it, not paying any attention to anything else. Just letting it draw a new attention. After all, it's so easy to imagine, so easy to focus on, and so very easy to follow. Just letting your head move back and forth back and forth. And if a cobra wanted to relax even more, it could just stretch out its body, tensing it up. Just notice the cobra that you're imagining. Just notice how it's stretching out and find that as you follow its head, follow its movement, that you just want to stretch out your own body, just giving yourself a nice good stretch, tensing up your entire body just for a few moments before you let it relax, just letting all of that stress and tension go. And as you follow its head, going back and forth, back and forth, if it wanted to get really, really relaxed, it could go across its body, tensing it up bit by bit, and relaxing it bit by bit. So why don't you just do that to yourself? Just tense up your feet for a few seconds, holding that tension in, and then letting them relax, letting that tension out, letting them feel loose and limp and warm and heavy, like a snake laying in the sun. And now, do the same with your legs, just tensing them up for a few seconds. All that stress, that tension from carrying your weight, just feeling it building up 
and then let them relax. Let that relaxation just overcome them. So heavy, so warm, so relaxed. Not wanting to move them at all. And now, just tense up your torso, tensing it up, feeling all that stress, all that tension, but knowing that it will give way as you relax, letting all that tension out, just letting it go, letting it be free, no longer weighing you down. Just so loose and limp and relaxed. And now, just tense up your arms. Feel that stress and tension in them. Just feel how much there is and how it all goes away as you relax. Letting all of that tension, all of that stress, those worries out. Your arms just loose and limp and warm and heavy, just feeling so nice, so good as you stare at the cobra, letting your head continue to move back and forth, back and forth. And now, with your hands, Either stretch them out or ball them into a fist, but whichever you do, just tense them up for a few seconds, feeling that tension, that stress, those worries and cares, just all building up in your hands, and then relaxing them, letting them flow away, go away, your hands so warm, so heavy, so calm and relaxed. And now, we move on to your neck, tensing it up for a few seconds, just holding that tension there, before it relaxes, the weight of your head from the day just going out of it, just flowing away from you. So easy to just relax. So easy to just let those cares and worries leave you. And now, moving on to your head. Just tensing it up. The last part of you. Holding it for a few seconds. Before you let it relax. All that stress and tension cares and worries just flowing away from you, your entire body feeling so warm, so heavy, so nice and relaxed. And if you're too relaxed, if your head is too heavy to keep following the sway of a cobra, just let it relax into the warm sand. Just let yourself rest in it as the sun gently shines on you. And now, there's one more reason that cobras are considered very hypnotic creatures, and that has to do with their eyes. You see, if you look now, if you look closely, You'll see how its eyes are beginning to spiral. Just pretty browns and golds spinning around and around. It's no longer swaying. It's right in front of you, staring at you, mesmerizing you. Just draining your thoughts away with those pretty, pretty spirals. No need to think, no thoughts in your head, just the eyes of a snake. 
letting you relax. You're doing so well. Just relaxing. Just letting the snake take away all of your thoughts. As you stare into my eyes. Just watching them. Watching the browns and golds spin as I keep looking at you. And as you keep staring, notice how a change is happening to you. Notice how your feet are becoming scaly. How they're beginning to be covered in nice brown scales. It's just so nice and comfy, like a slight pressure around them, barely noticeable, but still nice. And that feeling, that pressure that the scales bring is moving up your leg. Feeling how your legs are beginning to become covered in scales. Most of them a normal brown, but on your inner thighs turning a nice pale brown. And as they continue up, as they reach your torso, they make their front and bottom of it be covered in those pale brown scales while the rest are of a normal brown. It just feels so nice, so good to be covered in these scales. And they don't stop. No, they keep on continuing, quickly spreading across your arms to your hands, making the inner sides of your arms, as well as the bottom of your hands, that nice pale brown, covering the rest in those wonderful brown scales. They continue spreading up your neck, up your head, onto your face making the front of your neck as well as your face from the mouth down be covered in the pale brown scales. They just feel so good, so comfy, so warm, just perfect for soaking up that nice desert heat. And now, now, Feel a pulling sensation at the base of your spine as a nice long tail starts to form. It's as long as your legs are tall and starts out half as wide as your torso is before coming to a dull rounded point at the end of it. The top of the tail is covered in your nice brown scales, while the bottom half is covered in those wonderful pale brown ones. Next, notice how your head is changing, shifting, as it becomes shorter, not like it's being scaled down, but like everything from your forehead and up is shrinking down, making the top of your head almost completely flat, your forehead almost completely gone, now just a tiny slope at the end of your muzzle. And that's not the only change that happens to your head. As you feel your tongue becoming narrower and rougher, feeling how it now splits at the end. 
and with the rest of your body transformed, there is only one thing left to do, and that's for you to grow your hood. Feel how you're growing the hood of a cobra, just like mine. A seemingly random yet mesmerizing array of brown and pale scales, just forming a wonderful cobra hood. You can open and close it at will, just feeling so nice and comfy with it. And it does have a special power. Now, this will only work on cobras like you, so unless you know that someone's become the exact same kind of cobra, it won't work on them. But if you let someone know that your hood is open, they'll find that the scales have seemed to rearrange themselves turning into a wonderful pale brown and brown spiral, just spinning in the most mesmerizing way possible, making thinking practically impossible. And they'll just start to sway back and forth, back and forth, nice and gently, nice and calmly relaxingly. However, you must be careful with this. If you open your hood while looking in the mirror, you could very well become trapped for quite some time yourself, just staring at the beautiful spiral, swaying back and forth, back and forth without a single thought in your head. So, make sure you're careful when you open your hood. Now, know that if you use the trigger phrase, I am a cobra, or if someone that you are okay with triggering you uses the trigger phrase, you are a cobra, you will undergo this transformation again at whatever speed you want. Additionally, you will instantly turn back into a human if you use the reset phrase, I am not a cobra, or if someone that you are okay with resetting you says the reset phrase, you are not a cobra. Finally, the effects of a hypnosis file would become inactive if they are a risk to your physical body or your well-being, if they are a risk to your social or professional life, if there is an emergency that they would prevent you from dealing with to the best of your abilities, or if they are a risk to your mental health. Also, any effect of this hypnosis file that was an issue will become active again once it no longer will be one. Additionally, you will never find this hypnosis file or the effects of it to be even slightly addicting. Now, it is time to come up on the count to five. One. Slowly waking up. Two, as you begin to become more aware. Three, able to feel what you are laying or sitting against, feeling your tail, your hood. Four, more and more aware. And five, awaken, 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 awaken. I hope that you have a wonderful day.